Hey, I'm here at a cultural festival in southern Thailand, exploring the food and culture, and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I was here yesterday with my wife and child, but my wife's decided to stay home tonight so she can cook. But I've come back to check out a bit more. So I'll start this video where I left off yesterday's video at the concert last night. Hope you enjoy the video. As well as on the stage, there was also live music happening at other places around the festival. The following day, there were also lots of live performances.
The performers came from all over southern Thailand, as well as live performances, there were also lots of local crafts on show. These were handmade watches, sorts of sarongs, different jewellery and traditional clothing. Each of the different provinces in southern Thailand had their own stall set up displaying the products that are made there. These were wood carvings from Trang, woven baskets, handmade light there, leather goods and a miniature long tail boat from Krabi, noodles, more handmade baskets and things. This was the display from the province of Yala. Lots of clothes and foodstuffs there. Handmade bags. And next door to them was the stall from Songkla. These are some sort of carved leather pictures. This was the stall from Panga. Had lots of different pearl items on offer. as well as material and clothing. There were also other souvenirs from each of the provinces available, including t-shirts and coffee cups and things. These are a traditional type of Thai glass bead. These have been found in sites dating back thousands of years and they're still being made today. And people making them at the festival. It's also a big tent with some information about the history of Krabi as well as photos taken from around Krabi. There are also lots of displays from government departments. This was the Ministry of Industry, Department of Health, Department of Fisheries, which had information about fishing practices. This was about fish farming by the look. Also had a display with some local marine life. There are also prizes and giveaways. I managed to score myself a book. Everyone seemed to be having fun. This was the Krabby Technical College display. They gave me one of these sweets to try, which was quite nice. I have had them a few times before. Is it big? from the powder and mm -hmm. coconut milk. Mm. Yes, and this one is the black color, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. This uh, kind of tom moon. Tom moon. Tom moon. Tom moon. Mm -hmm. tom moon. Okay. Yes. How do I at their display, they were showing off the collaborations between some of their students and teachers. This one, this is the powder and coconut milk mm. to with uh, ingredient, right? Yes. And black, black mm -hmm. color, black but seed. yes, yeah. I'm not sure. 
Mm-hmm. But that's mean. And then mm-hmm. they, she can put inside. Mm-hmm. And then they, mm-hmm. uh, they teach her and the student to cooperation mm-hmm. with the, like a, a to, to show now what the come here, like what? Work together. Like, uh, yes, together for mm-hmm. for 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 like a brainstorming to make ah. like a like a this one. Make the tool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because uh-huh. the, the last original, mm-hmm. the Thai people they don't uh, to provide here, and then sure. teacher and student to make mm. to to write, uh, write a cooperation, okay. to write a brainstorming, sure. yet to 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 show uh, look like an idea for mm-hmm. some to 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 prepare mm. uh, something for uh, lifestyle and sure. and Thai culture, mm-hmm. yet oyster, mm. oyster, yeah, yeah. You know? Open yes, oyster, uh, yeah. This is a technology from teacher and students about uh, mm. 230 baht and 300 baht per mm-hmm. set. Yeah, yeah sure. this small one, this is a big uh-huh. one. The winner That's of, I had a number uh, of prizes that the school had won. In the uh, uh, Bangkok. From everywhere from Bangkok yes. to mm-hmm. Korea. Mm. I need to go to Korea. This is the Korea. No, from it's Korea. Korea, yes. Korea in Invention Promotion Association. I also have batik bedroom furnishings which were being made by the students. There were lots of areas with food and souvenirs and other items that you could buy. And then there was also the stage. As well as Thai performers, there were also performers from a number of other countries around the world. These ladies here were making a type of Thai sweet called Kanom La. Now oil the wok. and pour the mix into the hot wok. Doesn't take very long to cook and then they roll up the sweet. And this is the finished product. There was plenty of stuff to look at. Really was a fun and interesting festival. There were also lots of tables and chairs where you could sit and lots of busy people preparing food. When you see Thai people fanning themselves you know it's pretty hot. There were also some village displays set up. This was a village of the nomadic sea gypsies, the Chow Lai. Their villagers used to inhabit much of the prime coastal land in southern Thailand. There's also a Muslim village set up. with some houses and even a mosque and lots of different food products being cooked
So that was the Chalet Village. I'm sorry, that was a Chinese area complete with a Chinese temple. There was lots of Chinese influenced food available here. They're pattern gold, just a type of Thai donuts. They're often eaten for breakfast and at other times of the day as well. There's also a big tent displaying the works of local artists. So some of the scenes that you can see around Krabi. And there are also artists working here in this area. Pretty much everywhere around the festival there were things to see and lots of friendly people. This guy was making pulled tea. cooking fried vegetables Thai dim sum being cooked there everywhere you look there were busy smiling people going about their business Lots of yummy looking food. This is the famous Thai fried ice cream being made here. Fried squid eggs there. Well, this time I was getting a bit thirsty, so I decided to grab one of these, which was an icy honey lemon drink.
They also had some other honey products for sale and the guy gave me a bit of honeycomb to try. Mm. It's very, very tasty. Mm. That was good. So, so hot. Oh yeah. Chicken or pork buns there. And I walked back past the Muslim village, they had some live music. Looks like lots of food being cooked. Later in the night they started the show for the grand finale which began with the song for the king. Whenever the national anthem or the song for the king are played in Thailand everyone stands still. An amazing shows the history of Krabi from the prehistoric edge to the store edge until it became Kong Tom community. The Gola, Bantai Samo, Pakasai until now. Moreover, on the big stage they had a sound and light show all about the history of Krabi. Has also been accomplished by the reign with righteousness of Majesty Tai King. They found evidence of the oldest continuous human habitation in Thailand in Krabi. Big part of the show was about that. The show went through the various ages in the history of Krabi from the prehistoric era through various stages of migration. Proclamation of Krabi as a region. An invasion, I think, by the Burmese. The early days of Krabi when it was a famous exporter of wild elephants. Some scenes from the early days. Invasion by the Japanese. Right up to modern times. And showcase some of the beautiful areas that you can find around Krabi. By then I was getting pretty hungry so I decided to go for a walk and see what I could find. I grabbed one of these, a barbecue pork stick. The lady actually gave me a couple of extra ones for free. I 
also thought I might get some seafood. I've grabbed a tray of these, Hoi Shak Ting, which are a type of sea snail. And also a plate of oysters. Also grabbed some of this barbecue chicken, which looked really yummy. God told me the bits I picked weren't that good, so grab me some better ones. I also grabbed one of these tasty looking frozen drinks that I'd seen earlier. Well, this festival has been a lot of fun. We're rather hungry now, so I think it's time to eat, and it's pretty hot here now. Thailand's in the middle of a heat wave. I think it's the, the hottest it's been for about 65 years. Where I live pretty much every day is 37, 38 degrees, so it was nice to get away to Australia for five weeks and escape the heat. I've actually been living without air conditioning in Thailand, but I've got air conditioning going in tomorrow because there's just no escape from the heat at the moment. So I've got a bit of a feed, and this icy drink which I've already tried it actually tastes even better than it looks I think it's some sort of Thai ice green tea topped with whipped cream and chocolate and that is really good really refreshing it's pretty sweet it's got a bit of a tea taste but it's really nice and icy cold which is just what I needed it's got a bit of stuff to eat got some oysters Came with a bag of herbs and spices and sauce to eat with them. I think I might start with them. It's actually been a while since I've eaten oysters in Thailand. I've been eating a lot of them in Australia while I was there. I kind of got a bit of a taste for them again. So they're a pretty big oyster. Lots of meat in there. And if I remember rightly, Thai people tear this leafy uh, herb up. I think they eat it after the oyster. There's also some fried onion, I think, there. Some chili sauce, some seafood sauce, and some garlic. I'm just going to eat the first one as it is because I do like the taste of oysters and I think it's a bit of a waste putting lemon or sauce with them. I haven't actually got any tools to eat it with, so I'm going to have to scrape it out with the shell of another oyster, I think. The lady put some ice on them to keep them fresh as well. All right, we're good to go. That is good. It's not quite as strong a flavor as the Australian oysters. It's still pretty good. They are delicious. Chase that one with a bit of this green leafy thing. I've no idea what it is. Really, I've got no idea what it tastes like either. It's kind of herby, a little bit sweet. Quite nice. Really, I can't think of anything to compare it to. So, chasing with a bit of raw garlic. 
Very good. We might top the next one with some seafood sauce. See how that goes. Quite spicy, a little bit sour. Nice taste of garlic. Mm. Really, that is perfect to go with these oysters, actually. So, while I'm on the seafood, I think I'll try these next. Chahoy Shakteen. They're a sea snail, which is very popular in Krabby. In fact, Krabby's quite famous for these. They've also come with a seafood sauce. They've also come with some toothpicks to help you eat them. In the shell is a little black thing there which is kind of like a, a foot. That's what gives these guys their name. Boy means shell, uh, shark means to pull, and teen means foot. It's the word for animal foot. So you pull the foot, and half of him came out. So you hold the little, little foot thing, which is quite hard, and eat the flesh off that. are delicious. They're a little bit chewy, like a, wow, ripped off. This one's got nothing in it. Oh well. So these are pretty chewy. Oh, the foot's come off that one. So looks like I'm going to have to dig him out with my toothpick. So these are pretty meaty. They taste a bit like octopus or squid and they've got the same sort of consistency. Uh, delicious. Alright, that one's come out complete. I'll try this one with the seafood sauce. Quite a bit of garlic and chili I can see floating around in that. Oh yeah. That is delicious. Again, the seafood sauce is pretty spicy. There's quite a bit of garlic in there as well. It's a little bit sour, but absolutely delicious. Then I also got some of these, which are pork mints. Barbecued, as you saw before, and it's wrapped around lemongrass. They come with different seasonings and different flavours. Tried some of these last night and they were really, really yummy. I paid for one and the lady gave me three, which was really nice of her. These are absolutely delicious. I've never seen them before. I don't know what flavour that one is. It's a little bit spicy, not very spicy though. A little bit sour. Really, really tasty. Looking forward to trying the other ones as well. They are good. Then finally, I got these which came wrapped in banana leaf. It's a type of chicken. These are the ingredients that go into it. I've tried these a few times before and they're generally pretty good. This one's also really good. Chicken is very tender. The sauce is a little bit spicy. It's kind of almost gelatinous around it. Mm. That is delicious. As I said earlier, this has been a great festival. It's been a lot of fun, very cultural. There been representatives from many different regions of southern Thailand as well as from other countries. It's been heaps of great music, loads of awesome food and some great shopping here as well. If you do come across any festivals or fairs in Thailand, I do recommend you check them out. They're generally pretty fun. Thai people know how to have a good time. As you can see from the video, I've been well looked after at this festival and I'm sure people will look after you as well. So do get out there and get amongst it all, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Thanks a lot for watching, I'm going to finish up eating and go back and enjoy the party. If you missed part one, check that out, I'll put the link up here and it's also below in the description as well. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you got the time, please make a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I post new Thailand videos every Wednesday. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.